Well, hey guys, uh, it's been a long day. Um, wow, spiritual warfare is really terrible today, just everywhere. Um, but uh, of course, Jesus always renews my strength, and um, I claim that He's um, God. He's the Son of God. Um, he came to Earth as a man in the flesh, and He bled on the cross and rose on the third day. Okay. <laughs> Um, so ignore the telegram and the WhatsApp people because they're trying to scam you. All right, guys, um, during the last message that I just posted, the Lord shook me. And this was before I like even looked at any comments today. <laughs> um, but it was on point, like amazing. And even though I was, you know, like, scoffed pretty much all day by, like, <laughs> everyone, except for my lovely, amazing, um, believers, which is awesome. <laughs> Sorry, it's just been really rough today. But I'm just trying to be obedient to Jesus because he asked me to speak this message. And I feel so sad for, I feel so sad for the lost people, and there's so many there's so many lost people on my heart my heart is breaking for them I'm not mad at any of them the ones that came on my page and said horrible things I'm not I'm not mad at them I feel for them I feel for them because they they truly do not know what it's like to have the love of the father in their lives they do not know Jesus is love. They do not know how to come to the true gospel. And it's evident in what they say and how they speak. And they are being deceived. And he, before I saw any of that, guys, this afternoon, the Lord gave me this message that was hours ago. And I just started reading the comments tonight because I hadn't, the Lord... There was a warning from another prophet um, said that uh, that people were going to come after us pretty hard because, of course, you know, once you give that date, you know, Satan's all over it and he speaks to Christians and it's all about warfare. And I know I believe in my heart that Jesus is coming on Monday, no doubt in my mind, because he showed up in my backyard. And oh, how my Jesus loves me and oh, how I love him. Okay, I'm going to read the message, okay, guys, because this was earlier today before I read anything. So if you still don't believe, you need to wake up. You need to wake up because everything I'm saying is going to come to pass. All right. My child, tell them I am coming. My child, I am praying. I am praying. I have been past the scroll. I am trying to wake you up. My father told me to come and get you. I am coming. You need to wake up and realize that I am coming. My words are true and my words will come to pass. Everything that I have told my chosen prophets, my anointed ones, they do not speak their words. They speak mine. I speak through them. You guys mock them, and you scoff them, and you come after my anointed ones. I have the sword coming for you. The ones who will not lay down their lives. The ones who will not believe in me and trust in me. I do not want any of this for my children. I love my children. Okay, guys, and then... He gave me 1 Corinthians 1 3. May God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ give you grace and peace. John 1 11. He came to his own and his own did not receive him. Ezekiel 2 4. For they are impudent and stubborn children. I am sending you to them and you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord God. Malachi 1 5. When you see the destruction for yourselves, you will say, Truly the Lord's greatness reaches far beyond Israel's borders. First Peter 2.8 
and he is the stone that makes people stumble, the rock that makes them fall. They stumble because they do not obey God's word, and so they meet the fate that was planned for them. Genesis 14.9 They fought against King Ked or Laomor of Elam, King Tidal of Gorim, King Amraphel of Babylonia, and King Ariok of Elisar, four king against five. Job 31.3 isn't it calamity for the wicked and misfortune for those who do, who do evil? Here's another message. I am coming, my child. I am coming. Wake them up, my child. Wake them up. There is no more time. There is no more time. I am coming. I told you in the end times that the secrets of Daniel that I had him put away until the end would be opened. I told you I would be past the scroll. Do you know who I am? If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. No one can come to me unless they are born again with the Spirit and water. I am your living water. I am the truth, the way, and the life. I came to the world as a man in the flesh, and I died on the cross for you. I shed my blood on the cross for you so that you may be saved. My Father did not send me to condemn the world, but to save it. But you are wicked in your hearts, and you are deceived, and you are let Satan deceive you. You practice witchcraft, and you practice sorcery, and you bow down to other gods. But I am your God. So this is just this part of that message. Um, there's probably more because I'm still editing the video. But now I'm going to read it backwards so you know God stands on it. But I am your God and you bow down to other gods. I'm sorry. But I am your God. You practice witchcraft and you practice sorcery and you bow down to other gods. And you are deceived and you are letting Satan deceive you. But you are wicked in your hearts. My father did not send me to condemn the world, but to save it. I shed my blood on the cross for you so that you may be saved. I came to the world as a man in the flesh and I died on the cross for you. I am the truth, the way, and the life. I am your living water. If you have seen me, I'm sorry, I am your living water. No one can come to me unless they are born again with the spirit and water. If you have seen me, you have seen the father. Do you know who I am? I would be past the scroll. I told you until the end, or I would be past the scroll. I told you in the end times that the secrets of Daniel that I had him put away until the end would be opened. I told you. I am coming. There is no more time. There is no more time. Wake them up. Wake them up, my child. My child, I am coming. I am coming. <sighs> okay, that was backwards. Um, let's see. Did I do this one first? Yeah, okay. And then it's, I love my children. I do not want any of this for my children. The ones who will not believe in me and trust in me. The ones who will not lay down their lives. I have the sword coming for you. I speak, or you guys mock them and you scoff them and you come after my anointed ones. I speak through them. They do not speak their words, they speak mine. My words are true and my words will come to pass. Everything that I have told my chosen prophets, my anointed ones. You need to wake up and realize that I am coming. I am coming. My father told me to come and get you. I am trying to wake you up. I am praying I've been past the scroll. I am praying. My child, my child, tell them I'm coming. The Lord is shaking me right now, guys, but I'm about to run out of the video. So I'm going to move on and probably have another message. All right. Guys, believe in Jesus Christ. He's the only way. And he'll, if you believe in him with all your heart and come to him with childlike faith, he'll save you guys. Because Jesus, even though there's some people out there that are wicked, he still doesn't even want the wicked to perish. He just wants you to come and believe in him. Repent from your sins. And when you're, you know, you're new in Christ, repentance is a change of mind. Change your heart. Believe in him. Walk in the spirit. Ignore the telegram and the WhatsApp people on YouTube. God bless.